Hi Cancer and welcome to your June 2020 reading. Thank you so much for your patience with me as I get your reading out. Today I am using some frankincense incense and I'm using a candle for spirit. I'm using Lucy Cavendish's Firefox and I'm using selenite along with pink opal. I call on my guides and your guides and all beings alike to assist me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. I am recording these in two different times. Uh, so if you see me wearing something different, that's why I was trying to do them in batch last night, but I didn't have enough time. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to keep this under, you know, 10 minutes just because I'm wanting to get these out to you on time. Already, you guys got some. Okay, there's your cards, guys. So, let's see what's going on here. You guys got a lot. So, there's been a lot of messages for you. Past lives. So, there is something going on with someone in your life. And when this past life card comes up, to me, it's often not just about karmic retribution. It's it's not just about that and lessons. It's something that is like a kindred spirit or a soul family that, yes, you might have had some struggles with them and everything, but once you take away all the shadow aspects and the doubts and fears with this person, you'll realize that they're meant to be part of your your life and the healthy version of your life. And... You're there to help each other. So it's almost as if a teacher and student energy that fluctuates back and forth. So it's like a mirror, you know? So in June, you're gonna find that this person, whether they're in your life consistently or not, they're still gonna be on your mind because there is a connection there. The other card that you have is find a place to withdraw to. So this is just saying that you're going to need some time to heal, you know, maybe with this other person, there might be some things that get under your skin, but that person, when they're in alignment with you in a healthy place, they could really be that safe haven for you. And this could also mean that you just really need to take care of yourself and you know, really be an advocate, not only for yourself, but the person that this is talking about in this past life energy. Grace in reverse. This is saying that, yeah, there is some things that end you that are not going to be as graceful as you wish, but it's something that is going to have value regardless of how easy or hard it is. And Again, that's up to you what value you place on it with your mindset is what Spirit's telling me. So again, it's something you're really going to have to pay attention to. And if you want it to be struggling, you know, if you want it to be a struggling thing, you're going to find that. So really make sure you're having a good mindset. And if you have trouble with mindsets, vision boards, um, inspirational TED Talks, you know, inspirational music, poetry, whatever you find. Could be art, it could be anything. Just hold on to that because that's going to help bring back this grace energy. So you have a couple cards in reverse, so don't let this upset you. Um, they're creation of light in reverse. And this is what it looks like upright. So to me, again, it might be attached to this grace energy. It's something that I feel it's something that Spirit is building you up to be a particular leader or a stronger person. And yes, I know some of you, Cancer, you have been through the ringer several times, and I apologize for that. But this is just saying that the light is within you. It always has been. It's just, it's needing to be kind of, again, it needs to be found. You need to search for it and don't stop searching for it. And it might just be a few moments with yourself and you feel light within you and, sur and surrounding you. And if someone comes in and ruins that energy for you, try to pray for more light to be 
bestowed upon you, you know, try everything you can do to bring that back. And it might be um, this connection, to this other person that this first card talked about with withdrawing, you might have to have a little bit of a talk with someone, you know, connect with that person in any way you can that will bring a sense of home-like energy or a sense of that not everyone is, you know, as what they seem. And even when they make mistakes and you make mistakes, you're not there to hold it against each other. You're there to create more light for each other. So that's just what I'm feeling. And again, there's another reverse card. So the noble one. So this is saying that if you are really having a hard time finding someone that feels noble to you, that might be the case that might just not be the person for you. Uh, but it also could be a projection. And I, I don't like to use that word very often anymore because I know uh, that kind of puts all the, the fault on you. But everyone does it, you know, so in this dynamic that you might be coming across in June, you want to be careful that when you find yourself being um, like, and again, I, we talked about this in the other Zodiac. So it's interesting that it's coming up again. What Spirit's telling me is that a lot of us are kind of almost, we're thinking we're protecting ourselves. We're thinking that we're being realistic, but we're not looking at the side that it could be unhealthy or negative. We're not really negative, like dark, like bad, but negative in a way that kind of is kind of an illusion, but it's kind of has a little bit of reality into it. So again, you don't want to oversaturate something when it's just not there. Of course, you want to be mindful and you don't want to like put yourself through another cycle of, you know, endless chaos. But again, this could mean that maybe you need to help this person find their inner light and the person that they desperately are but they just can't seem to grasp it because of all the other noise around them, all the other influences around them that might not see the light that they so desperately are. So that's just what I keep hearing spirits say. So just have, have as much faith as you can and hope and really as irritating as it is, try to find someone you could work on with you know work together with so it's got to be a teamwork energy because if not it's never going to work um so it's not about blaming you or them it's about having compassion for each other and understanding that it is what it is and i hate using that saying but sometimes that's just how we handle loss and grief as we do things that are out of character or we do things to make things just in our mind. So that's what I'm hearing. Just kind of re release all those, what Spirit's saying is shackles or extra threads of karma that is not really needing to be there, if that makes sense. So this is a good card to get upright. And this is fleeting beauty. So this is just saying, in my opinion, it, everyone's gonna be like fleeting beauty but that don't make sense but that is saying that life is short and even when you feel like there's no beauty around there probably once was and still is it's just harder to find so in June you might have to find that you might have to be that for someone and they might have to be that for you and you might have to really be again I I'm sorry guys but this has just been the key word for the last couple months that just keep channeling through me is mindfulness and how much that can just really kind of cloak over you. Whatever mindset you have that can really bring about so many um, like domino effects. It's kind of like the law of attraction, which I kind of believe it. But then sometimes I think that it's very, you have to really be in a certain vibration for it to work. So pay attention in that. Coming of age. 
So to me, this is saying that there will be a breakthrough and I'm hearing with relationships and also um, self-esteem. So that's a good thing. Some of you might find that finances will be, I'm seeing spirit show me a chunk of money, then you got to make it last. A chunk of money, then you got to make it last. So there will be, you know, an influx in finances, but again, don't spend it all in one, one area because it's supposed to provide you, um, it's supposed to sustain you. And if you are not paying attention, it can, excuse me, it can become something that is really going to, again, I'm getting like, a lot of throat chakra energy and heart chakra energy you want to make sure that it's in alignment with that if you're doing it from again spirit showing you the mind of anxiety then you might overspend the other card that's in reverse is sunlight after the darkness so again a lot of you now some of you might look at this and say oh gosh there is no sunlight after the darkness there there is but i feel Cancer that this is really about understanding that You can create that sunlight within yourself And it can be hard to keep when you're surrounded by people that don't support you But there will be some people that will support you in June and you might be your biggest advocate along with a few other people but this is saying that uh, You don't have to wait till after the darkness to see that sunlight you know, just because the card says sunlight after the darkness doesn't mean that you have to wait. Don't wait for something to fall in your lap. Really create it, you know, and then once you are in that vibration, it'll be easier to receive, okay? So it's kind of like making a pathway, energetic pathway for it to come to you easily, more easily. So I do hope that this makes sense. I hope you have a great June, Cancer. Thank you so much for your patience. I will leave all my links down below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave any constructive criticism, requests, comments. I love to hear from you guys, and I hope to see you guys soon. Many blessings.